Are Janet Jackson and Jermaine Dupree getting back together? Are comedian Jim Carrey and Usher kindred spirits? Could Oprah be a U.S. presidential candidate in 2020? Are women making it too easy for men to avoid marriage? We're introducing conscious rapper Kyle Knight, and we have our photo of the week and more, so stay tuned. Welcome to What's the 4 on 1, your smart source for urban lifestyle and entertainment news. I'm Kizzy Pop. I'm Anika McQueen. Yes. I'm doing great. How are you? I'm very, very good. good. And, I'm glad to hear uh, it. Yeah, so we're about to get started with some quick takes. So, girl. It looks like Usher isn't the only one battling herpes rumors. So, Jim Carrey, believe it or not, has now been sued by his late girlfriend's mother and husband for giving her prescription drugs which they said led to her death. Giving, and, giving it to her? Yeah, well, you know, giving her access to the prescription drugs that she later overdosed on and allegedly infecting her with herpes. Yes, yes. A note to carry from his deceased girlfriend, allegedly found on her iPad, shows she was furious that he gave her a whole bunch of STDs. So it was HPV, it was um, some other one, uh, genital warts and gonorrhea and... Yeah. But he's a comedian. <laughs> I'm sorry. I listen. Jim I'm... Carrey does not have gentle towards. I don't I'm not gonna believe that. And why He's at you... HPV. So this is the thing. So why are you... and so, so so why why are they suing him? Like she was living with him, that was her full boyfriend. Like what does that have to do with Because she why? said but the the main thing about the lawsuit is that he was the one who gave her access to the drugs and the drugs well, he's and the drugs that's her death and then well he's just saying they're trying he to gave extort her him anyway. He gave her access to a place to stay and food to eat and cars to drive. He gave her access to a lot of things. Girl, let's okay. we'll see what happens, but yeah, he's saying Poor it's Usher. all lies. Why is Usher in your mouth again? Like, I, mm, mm, and Joe and Jim Carrey now. Speaking of they, more, neither one of them in my mouth, but okay, go. They're not in your mouth. Go. <laughs> Let me see if you got something on there. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, sorry. That is a very no, nice no. segue. That was hilarious. That was hilarious. <laughs> Okay, anyway, <laughs> speaking of more buffoonery, right? So these high school girls, right? Cheerleaders, of mm. course. They were um, on the internet with these um, uh, lingerie, okay. uh, fishnet stockings, boots, garter belts, and, and, and they were posting, I guess, video, and it went viral, mm. right? Okay, why were they doing it? Okay. Okay, so they were at a costume party at school, right? So apparently the parents signed off on it. But then the internet went crazy, like, this is ridiculous, this yeah. is ridiculous, right? So the, the principal's like, hold up, hold up, I apologize, but it's not my fault. The parents signed off on it, like I said. And then, so then some people on the internet compared the costumes to something that Beyonce would wear. So I'm like, Beyonce is a full-grown lady exactly. with uh, three children and a full yeah. husband, high school student. <laughs> but this is the <laughs> thing, right? Every time white America do so, Beyonce would have done it. Really? <laughs> Get your whole ass. <laughs> anyway. 16 yo. And what? Make it put on too some Too much. It's Instagram. It's, it's Instagram. Too much. It's the Instagram with mentality. The stu- with You're the looking. stupid pouty lip, right? That's what I'm saying. I but anyway. Mm-hmm. So, U.S. District Judge Brian Jackson dismissed, thank you, the lawsuit against the Ray McKesson and Black Lives Matter that was brought by a police officer who said he was hit by a rock at a rally in Baton Rouge in July of 2016. So, in a 24-page ruling, the judge said, look, quote, although many entities have utilized the phrase Black Lives Matter in their titles or business designations, Black Lives Matter itself is not an entity of any sort. Furthermore, McKesson, he said, was solely engaged in protected speech. So, basically, this guy had no grounds. But so, it's not out. you know what's so crazy? That a lawyer took the case... Like it really went to, like it's like it's some like okay. I'm just gonna say this: Black Lives Matter does not mean everybody else's lives don't matter. It just exactly. says let's focus on some black or people. white lives so matter can, less. No, it does it not. It does mean not that. mean that. I don't know why that yeah. is a, even a thing. But speaking of white lives and white privilege, right? Mm-hmm. I guess. Okay. Did that make sense? But whatever. Yeah, that's a that's a nice little segue. <laughs> I like that. All right. Okay. So I call her secretly. I call her the 2017 Cruella Deville, Megan Kelly. Right? Don't you look like Cruella Deville? 
<laughs> 101 Dalmatians. <laughs> okay, so anyway, this is what's happening with her, No, right? you didn't just her say that, but all right. Her new TV show on NBC called Megan Kelly Today. Mm-hmm. That replaced Tamron Hall and um, Al Roker. You know that? Yes, I do. We talked okay. about it last time. Okay, so uh, she isn't making friends and influencing people, I see, right? So already she's been, she almost incited a mini riot. This is what she's done so right. far, right? So it was a super fan of Will and Grace. You know mm-hmm. the show Will and Grace? Mm-hmm. He, she indicated that the guy became gay because he liked the show so much. Scrap! Okay. What are you talking about? All right. I don't I don't know. And then she ticked off Jane Fonda because she started asking Jane Fonda about plastic surgery. No, never do Girl, that. Never do that. Never G- do really? that. Okay. Like and, and her, her ratings are underwhelming. Of so course. I just but don't we know. talked about this and we knew this would happen and it's not surprising. How long do you give her before it gets cancelled? Uh she's white with blonde hair and she's pretty. <laughs> she's not gonna get canceled. <laughs> She's going to get canceled. She's going to get canceled. Oh, oh my gosh. There's another one. She'll get canceled. She'll get canceled. Mm. She will. And then, yeah. I give her a year. Kelly is still on there. Just yeah. like. <laughs> 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 That's boring as I don't know what. Ooh. All right. So, <laughs> on to the next one. All right. So, Tamar Braxton, all right, mm-hmm. went on a Wendy Williams show, and she said that her older sister, Tony Braxton, and hip hop mogul Brian Birdman, you know Birdman, uh-huh. may have is a low. Is just is just stupid or is you dumb? <laughs> <laughs> Tony, is just stupid or is you dumb? I'm just uh, joking. He got some money. I know she had a couple of bankruptcies. Girl, get your coins. Listen, I, they they very odd couple, but hey, if they if, if it works, it works. And but according, maybe, and yeah, according, he might be a southern gentleman. No, because you know I mean? Tamar said, you know, her mom was very sick and everything, and you know she had the, like the heart issue and then she had a stroke and everything and he was there the whole time like a real boyfriend um, not just boyfriend but like a you know a husband so I, you know what it is like um terry that her drama that she was married to before right he what was his name you um no you talking about the, you talking about the singer tony braxton's first husband what's his name david justice tony braxton i'm not saying Haley Berry. oh no no what um, are you talking about um Terry somebody. He was like in mint condition or something like that. Right okay. Well. We could just be totally all based. We don't give a damn. So this is when it is. <laughs> we do. We do. <laughs> now y'all, tell us. We tell don't. us in the comments. Well, I like Tony Basically. Braxton because she's a Libra. First of all, and and Breathe Again is my favorite song. Okay. So, you know, sometimes it's the beauty and the beast. You know, she's like this famous, you, you know, song. You no, I don't mean that he looks like a beast, but like rough like a beast, you yeah. know? No, sometimes you yeah, you just, just digging the hole, girl. <laughs> Listen, all right. So wait, wait. But Sorry, I, Birdman. Before before we move on, though, did you hear about Wendy Williams while we're on the topic? Oh, about wait about her uh, twenty year old breast and or 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 her oh, husband. No. Her husband. We are talking her about the, the affair heard round the world. This tea is piping hot. It's hot. It's no, burning it's not. my mouth. It's burning my mouth. Because she said it's not true. I don't care what she said. Do you believe her? <laughs> Just no, because she said it's not true. I don't, because I've read some stuff that said that. It is that, so, I'm really surprised at Wendy. I'm not surprised because remember, it's very shortly, after, shortly right. after her son was born, shortly after literally he was a newborn, she found out that he was cheating on her. So he's done it before. It's not like she doesn't know that. And is she really going to come out and say, okay, my man has been cheating on me for 10 years, not two years, not six months, 10 years. I don't and bought that. A, and bought a house. Nine miles away from the, where they currently live. I don't get that though, because most celebrities, uh, you know, dabble in all that, you know, threesomes and all that stuff. Why would you need a whole other family? That just does not. Make sense. I don't understand. That's like either. bad money management. But you see, <laughs> these stars, they have these husbands as managers, and like, what you gonna do? How you, how do you divide that money? You better ask Mary J. Oh my gosh, she's gonna be paying mm-hmm. it up. It's, it's cheap. It, what is it? It's, it's cheaper cheap to keep her. Yeah, it's cheaper to keep them. But any door going to win. Listen, Coming we'll see back. what happens. Sometimes you got to get that old thing back, right? So Janet Jackson has been hanging out with Jermaine Dupri lately. Mm-hmm. I guess she's like, bye-bye, A-Rab billionaire. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're gonna. Hello, I don't think they're gonna re- recon- recon- Why not? They were, they were together from from nineteen ninety one to like nineteen ninety. 1990, 2001 to like 2009 or something like that. Oh, they were no. Just, no? I mean, she has her baby already. Like, 
What else does she want? She already has her money already. You, I'm, I'm telling you. We'll see you what happens. These women, we'll see what you look at we'll these women happens. and they want the beast. They want the beast. They want a so fun. Call, they want. I don't, so you call him I don't a beast mean too? he's a beast. Every I don't man mean on his a beast. I don't mean he Listen. looks like a beast. What I'm saying is, would you, you call want, Ray Ray a beast though? Which Ray Ray? The one I used to mess with. Am. <laughs> <Ow. laughs> Wait. Did you hear about the Four to D challenge? What? <laughs> the Four to D challenge? No. You know the rap song Four to D challenge? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay. Oh snap. You know what? Let me stop. Okay. So we're gonna take a quick break. <laughs> so you keep it locked. We'll be right back with what's popping. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to energy saving bulbs. Saving energy saves you money. Welcome back to What's the 411. So we got some issues to talk about today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So media mogul Oprah Winfrey, okay. my secret animal, <laughs> with my spirit animal. Your spirit, your secret animal. <laughs> my <laughs> big put, secret animal. No, put my, on the table. My spirit <laughs> animal. Um, okay. Spark speculation on Twitter that she may run for president. To oh. that 20, uh, what, 2020? I would love that. I love oh. Oprah. I grew up watching Oprah. Grew up wanting to be Oprah. Listen, I would love that. I would love it. Well, I heard her myself. I heard her say she thought that she didn't have the credentials mm -hmm. until 45 <laughs> came through. And then she's like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Really? So, well, nothing. You, you, you got no doubt. Okay. I'm going to just nominate on Rangel. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, into the White House. But you know, the thing is, well, the thing with forty five though, with I would Trump, rather, um, Michelle Obama than Oprah. Well, neither one of them are going to run. They they've repeatedly said they're not going to run. But you know, if she did. Think about what Oprah did when she had her show, how she brought people together. She had so many people watching. She had, of course, white people, black people. She had Asian people. She had everybody. Right. So we need someone who unites us because we, so, right. we are so divided. No, she does. That's the thing. She's not like a phony, I don't see color. But she's like, you know. Okay, ultimately, she's not that propelled doesn't matter. by color. Right. We'll say that. That, okay. That's her thing. And mm -hmm. that's great. And we need that. You know what I mean? We are so divided right now. Mm -hmm. So extra divided, and you know, just seeing somebody be able to bring people together again, I'm, I'm craving that. I, I wish we could what, find somebody. What would like her them. presidency look like? Like, what would the cabinet look like? It would be like, who would she have? She would have <laughs> United Debbie, Nations, Debbie Allen, United <laughs> dancing around. <laughs> girl, you know what? Gail would be the vice president. Yes, yeah, girl, yeah. She would. Oh yeah. my God, it would who? be. It would be oh, amazing. Wait, it would who, be amazing. Wait, Dave Chappelle. No, she'd have to bring in um, Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry. What, what would, would he do? do? Oh, Dress no. up like my dear? No. No, that's not going to work, Tyler. <laughs> he going to be running. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? You going to be running. <laughs> you, know how to, you, know how, you, know, you know how to make that money, though. He does. You know how to make that money, so. The you know. back is real. But within, all the black people will be invited to the White House again, because you know we're never going again now. Um, <laughs> it would look, it would look nice. She it would, it she, would, would, be, she would paint be. the White House a color though. She would change it. She's stupid. You just, you just go over there with that fantasy of the Oprah, Oprah, Oprah presidency. Would change the Let's color of the wall. She would paint it. Wouldn't she have black art around? Because it's more bomb saying a black art around. Oh. oh, this would be exciting. Go ahead, Oprah girl. Do uh, it. Oh yeah, do it. We, can we, we, can, we can only, we can only wish. We can only wish. <laughs> Halle Berry, we are talking about her a little bit earlier. So, she's dating again. Dating again. We were not talking about her. You we mentioned, and you were like, oh, no, Halle Berry was actually dating David, David So, and she was in my head. Okay, okay. she's in my Say head. Say that. She was in my head. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> she's dating again. Berry posted a photo of herself and her new man, British music producer Alex the Kid, on Instagram with the caption, and it said, my balance. So, being that she has been married and divorced a number of times... Do you think it is wise of her to, like, publicize her relationship and, and try again? You know, I, I'm going to be serious right now. You don't have to look <laughs> serious. It's a lie. I am going to be serious, though. This is what happened. I don't think that you should post your relationships on social media. I agree. Like, to me, it's fake. Right? Once I post you on social media... 
It's like giving it the green light for people to just hate on the situation. Mm -hmm. Giving negative energy and stuff like that. Like, maybe I would post my wedding, maybe. But I just think that that me and Boo hanging out, sit down, Felicia. Just let me tell you, I think it's the same. I mean, this is obviously not as extreme as that, but I think it's the same thing when people have reality shows where their relationship is at the center. It always puts so much strain on that because people start picking it apart and this and that. And so I'm happy for Hallie. If she's happy, then great. But like in terms of like putting it out there and stuff like that, she's had so many. Yeah. The f- marriage, if everything hasn't worked out, I just want her to like keep it, keep it on down it low, on and just low. like not say anything, and just. Her. But you know what? It depends on who you're dating because if you're dating someone and you're dating Halle Berry, and that someone is dating Halle Berry, maybe it's like you know you post on social media all the time. You mm. never post me. You know what I'm trying to say? It's not like she's a private person. Everything is on the social media. I think if you, you need to be put on your big boy draws. I mean, <laughs> she doesn't have to post you just because she's posting about her life. You know what I mean? You know you're with her. But it is is Hollywood. You know what I mean? So, hey. I wish her the best. I hope that she, this is the one. And and it lasts. But why does it need to last? You know, sometimes stuff is really good for two weeks. Sometimes she clearly wants it to last because she keeps getting married. So, maybe she likes getting married. Maybe she just cannot find the right one to make it happen. I'm telling you, I'm thinking totally differently about the one. What does that really mean? It's just, I'm just... I'm well, just I mean, you can have the one for now, and you can have the one for right. a lifetime. I can have Amadou and Ray Ray sometime. I'm just saying. <laughs> Amadou's not going to stand for Ray Ray, though. Come You're on. going to know him, first of all. I'm not dumb. Mm. Maybe he might find out. I just think that I just think that this misogynistic society has sold us on the fact that we need to get us a man, keep him, die with him. And I just think that being that women are doing so many things for themselves... Like why can't we rethink that? So you don't so you don't believe in monogamy anymore? Is that is that what you're saying? I'm just saying that it may be cursed. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I think if you, I think that's I believe Western that culture. I believe that everybody needs to find a path that's right for them, right? So right. everybody cannot be monogamous. They really can't. Right. They, you know what I'm saying? They try to do it, and then you mm-hmm. know they wind up straying, breaking up their whole family, ruining people's lives. Mm-hmm. So you know there might not be monogamy for everybody, but then you have an open relationship. You just you know out there just doing your thing, whatever it is. Find that path and do it. Take this it. is so funny because think about this now. So now, thanks to cheap sex. Okay, marriage. So that's a, that's a maybe, now the same into the segue. Like, marriage may be go. doomed, according to the new book. Right, it's called Cheap Sex: The Transformation of Men, Marriage, and Monogamy. Right. Mm-hmm. So he says that men are in the driver's seat as long as the sex is so low in cost. Right. So heterosexual women have an increasingly difficult time finding a partner worth committing to. Now, do you think that men are really turning away from marriage because they can get s- sex cheap? What is the old saying, right? What? Why buy the cow when you get the milk for free? Do I you, mean, so you this think is, that men, <laughs> men only get married for sex? No. However, I do think this man has a point in that if people are not having to work, you know, they're not they're not feeling like they need to put in work to really court you and and develop anything. So they're replacing actual courtship with sex, and they're like, well, you know what? I can get a, I can get some more sex, and they don't but even what, actually know you as a person I, to even like be committed to you. I think it's just it's it's all just like this, you know, merry of a round of sex. Can, I, so I think that what's happening, I think that this guy is on to something, Regeneres. Regeneres, <laughs> Regeneres. Mr. Regeneres, I think that That's you not the man's are on, Okay, I think you're on to something, but I don't think that you broaden your scope enough. Because what I think is happening, really, is not only are men getting sex for free, they're getting every damn thing else for free. So it's these women are taking exactly, care of them the in a way you know that me, way, you know, you got, way bigger milk. than the cow. Because if, it's, if, if men's minds is, oh, we're getting sex. Sex, so now we're not getting married, but these women, these girlfriends, are showing. But you no, know, milk can be a lot of other things. It can be all of the things that you would get from the cow. Well, they so that's the thing, right? So if it's just like a, a sexual experience, that's a different thing. But what's happening is these girlfriends are operating like their wives, and then they never become wives. That's what's happening. 
That's mm. that's that that's my thought because what you do is mm. you you try to show these men that you're you're the one and that is, and, and that's not how it was supposed to be, right? Don't like the dowry. Well, what do you what do you the think? Okay. To the to the father of the bride, but right? Let me, well, let me say this though. So then, how do you think that a woman should treat her man? As a girlfriend versus as a wife, like what is the so, distinction? So I don't think that you should be cooking and cleaning. I don't think you probably should be living with them. I think you should, if, if you're a girlfriend, you should have a whole separate life, and y'all come together as a okay. couple. I, okay. I think that people act like they're married when they're not, and then they then they wonder why they're not married. But oh. you need to keep it real with what you want too, though. You know what I'm saying? Because right, if you're deciding, you oh, I'm it, good with, but you can't this. get it. You can't get it giving everything up. You know what I'm trying to say? If you want something, there's certain standards. It can't be a situation. But that goes back to my point. I think that people need to just let people, let that man get a chance to actually know you and court you and do all of those things and then he's invested in you and doesn't just see you as somebody who he can get some sex from and right. who can cook for food and da 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 da. You but know that's what, I mean? what we do. I think yeah. that you should not act like a, a wife if you are a girlfriend. If you are a girlfriend, you should not act like a wife. Pay your own stuff, live in your own place, and date that man. And if he wants something more, then let's do something more if that's what okay. you believe in. You know okay. what I'm trying to say? I just think, and I think that these men that I've encountered, they require a lot lately. <laughs> and you're like, what? Like what? the phone who? was he asking for a dollar now. Who? They're like, give me five dollars. Yeah, like, like, what? Wait, like where, what are you talking about, sir? No, sir. No, what? Absolutely <laughs> not. I'm going, where was I? Where was I? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, what? But let, where was I? <laughs> when I sit down and write that check for that mortgage or whatever it is I'm paying, I'm alone, single, singular. Oh, okay. sorry, I put my middle finger. Singular. And um, I just don't know how we're really a couple. Mm hmm But, I, but well, to his point, I mean, I think cheap I, sex. I, 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 the transformation my, of that marriage. My thought even. is about cheap sex and stripping and all that kind of stuff. But but women are way more than just sex. Of I just course. Think, I think of that, course. I think that we're giving way more than sex. Because if we only gave sex, they would be like, wait a minute. And where's the companionship? I need somebody to help me no, with my credit. Just, they would just I need somebody. I need somebody. I need somebody. I need somebody to write this letter for me. Can you send this email, babe? You know what I'm trying to say? Hold like, a fish. <laughs> can you hold a fish? You see, I told you about Nia. The dog boy gonna buy her fish. Took him to hold a fish, and you a biology man? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. You're crazy. You're crazy. But keep it locked. We're gonna be right back with more of what's the fun <laughs> one. This week, we're combining our photo and motivational quote of the week. The photo and quote come from the legendary tennis player, Serena Williams. We love her. She shows off her post-pregnancy body. So the quote is, you know what? I've been called a man because I appeared outwardly strong. It has been said that I use drugs. No, I have always had far too much integrity to behave dishonestly in order to gain an advantage. It has been said I don't belong in women's sports that I belong in men's because I look stronger than many other women do. No, I just work hard and I was born with this badass body and proud of it. You go, Serena. Coming up next is Keisha Williams' interview with conscious rapper Kyle Wright. It's all about you. You're being number two. You deserve more. Not some chick's panties on the floor. Does it come when you can't take it no more? Your love is priceless, not a doorway thing. More precious than a title or a diamond ring. That was a clip from the music video Hey Sister by Kyle Knight. And we are fortunate enough to have Kyle Knight in our studio with us today. Up and coming hip hop artist Kyle Knight. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. You were born and raised in New York, yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. We're in Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens. I was born in um, Long Island, Hempstead, in mm -hmm. Hempstead, Long Island. And I was raised in Washington Heights, New York, New York, a town oh. Manhattan. Okay, and so music was very much a part of your upbringing. Your father yes. has musical roots, yes? yes? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, at what point did you realize that you had a talent for music, whether it was creating it, writing it, producing it? At what age did you discover that you had this talent? Um, I discovered it at age seven, and then I took it professionally in my early 20s in my songwriting. So tell me about the first song that you wrote. 
Okay, the um the first song that I wrote was The Truth, and that covered all um, social political issues in terms of climate change, global warming, police brutality, all those certain things there, and just really bringing the truth to the people which has been denied for so long, and hopefully getting the audience to really stand up for what they believe in, which is the truth. You know, we, people would maybe classify you as a conscious rapper. Right. And I don't listen to the radio much these days because I'm not in the car as much. But mm -hmm. when I do, there is a certain brand of hip hop that is on the radio and seems to reach the masses. Mm -hmm. At any time, did you feel maybe any kind of pressure or maybe any inclination to create a song or two or maybe an album that would be you know, push to the masses. But not really, um, because the word conscious stands for the word life, so which I am a, a life artist, a life rapper, and things like that. And um, I feel content, and I feel strong, and I feel confident enough um, to really work my niche, and which is being a conscious artist. And um, I, now I'm not saying that everything that I'm going to do is going to be conscious, because there's going to be a lot of material that I write, a lot of things that I do. But it is important that um, a young man such as myself comes out the gate right as an artist in terms of songwriting, in terms of um, recording ability and things like that. And so those are just some of the features that we're really just trying to show the audience and the public and things like that with me as an artist that, you know, we're giving you a different caliber in artists, a very solid artist. You know, and not saying that, that um, um, I may not do something something in today's radio type of feel, but um, where it is now is really coming out the gate as, a, um, as strong as possible as a life artist, as a conscious artist, conscious rapper. Do you, how do you feel about um, the movement of conscious rap? Do you, do you feel as though there is a, a swelling where it can be something that could be pushed and we can see more common on the on the radio and on TV and more mm -hmm. maybe Nas, most Def, that kind. Do you do you feel that there is a momentum? I believe so, and um, I believe so also because of the times that we live in too. You know, with all the um, political issues that we have going on with Trump and what's going on in the White House, also what's going on um, in, um, in the streets and on the news and things like that. And I believe that more artists will become conscious and they'll be. Um, trying to put this in their work and in their to, into the music. Where can people uh, listen to your music? Where where can we find it? Um, you can find me at kylenightmusic.com and all my other social media handles is Kyle Knight Music. The only handle that's different is my Facebook, which is Kyle P Lyric Publishing LLC. Once again, it's Kyle P Lyric Publishing LLC. Well, it has been such a pleasure Same speaking here. with you, and I look forward to seeing and hearing more of you. And I know our friends in TV land and in internet world will also look forward to seeing and hearing more from you. Thank you so much, and it's, it's an honor being on. Thank you so much. No problem. We have enjoyed having Kyle Knight here in the studio, and now for your viewing pleasure is a clip from his music video entitled, Hey Sister. Hey there, sister. Everyone knows it's not right. The way you do your body at night, a way out, all you gotta do is get it right. Know what you don't even think, is your mind in sync? Hey there, sister. What's the entertainment Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to energy saving bulbs. Saving energy saves you money. Well, that's it. Can you believe it? What? That's going to do it for this week's edition uh -oh, of What's the 411? No. Your smart source for urban lifestyle and entertainment news. Oh, man. <laughs> sure. Okay, so until next week, check out our website, www.whatstheforward1.com. And remember to hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, What's the 411 TV. And we might just mention you on the show. Yes. I'm Kizzy Cox. And on behalf of Anika McLean, thank you for watching What's the 411. Until next time. 411, who's got the 411? 411, they got the 411. Who's got the 411? They got the 411. What's the 411?